Hey, what's up? This is Aaron from AaronsGuitarLessons.com, and this is how to play Enough by Chris Tomlin. Really easy, uh, pretty praise and worship song. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is capo second fret to make this in the key of A. Now, you don't have to play this in the key of A. You can do no uh, capo and play this in the key of G if you want, but uh, the version that Chris Tomlin does is in the key of A, so that's the reason I'm playing this in the key of A. But you don't have to. If you're going to play this for church or just by yourself, you can adjust the key to where you want it. You can even move it up. You know, if it's a little low for you, maybe move the capo up to the fourth fret and play it how you want to. So these chords can be applied to any of these keys, okay? Because we're going to be playing the chords in the key of G, but move the capo where you want it. Okay, so for this lesson, capo two. So we're going to start off with the uh, verse chord progression. I'm going to play it for you, then I'll show you the chords I'm playing and give you a strumming pattern. So what I'm doing here is playing a G. We're going to play the G by, uh, again, capo 2. So our new third fret is really the fifth fret, but fret 3, mute, 0, 0, 3, 3. So G5, and we're going to a C, suspended 2, mute, 3, mute, 0, 3, 3. And you can play a C suspended 2 like this if you want to, mute, 3, 2, 0, 3, 3. I just take my first finger off of it and mute that string out. Then D suspended, mute out the top, zero, zero, two, three, three. Then we have a C over B, mute out the top and play two, zero, zero, three, three. All right, so so far we have G, C, D, C over B, then back to C again. Then A minor seven. Mute out the top or leave it open, it really doesn't matter on this chord. I like to mute it out so I have the open A on the fifth string. So mute zero two zero one three. And notice on all these chords I'm just leaving my fourth finger, my pinky finger, down on all of them. No reason to really pick it up. Okay, so we're on A minor, and then we're gonna go to the D suspended again. So that whole chord progression, G. C suspended 2, D suspended, C over B, C suspended 2, A minor 7, and D suspended. Alright, so that is the chord progression for the verse. Alright, and the strumming pattern you can do through this entire song is pretty simple. You can go 1 and 2, 3, 4 and, 1 and 2, 3, 4 and, 1 and 2, 3, 4 and. Really easy, I'll slow it down for you. 1 and 2, 3, 4 and. It's one simple strumming pattern you can play on all these chords. Alright, so simple enough. So let's move on to the chorus now. Chorus chord progression is just G. And all of you is more than enough for all of me. So we just have G to the C suspended to, D suspended back to C suspended to. All of you is more than enough for. All right, so you're gonna play that chord progression three times. G, C, D suspended. Are right, then you gonna play C over B, C, D suspended. All right, so that last part. So G, C, D, C, C over B, C, and D at the end of that chorus chord progression. All right, which brings us to the bridge. Okay, so the bridge chord progression is just like the last chord progression in the chorus. You have G, C, D suspended C, then C over B, C, and D. So. More than He 
you just do that chord progression through the entire bridge. And again, you can do this in any key you want to. So if you want to, if it's too high, you know, to sing, play it in G. So you can play the entire song in G if you want to. Really doesn't matter too much. Whatever um, is comfortable with you and comfortable with your band that you might be playing with or your praise and worship group at church. Doesn't matter. So anyway, that's the song. It's pretty easy. Um, got the strumming pattern, chord progressions for verse, chorus, and bridge, and that's all you need.